Hi, Mark Ellis here. Welcome to another Discraft Pro Clinic. Today we have the clinic on the Anheusers, the disc that breaks the other way. You know how your disc always wants to go one way? The opposite way of that is called an Anheuser. And today you'll see a number of top Discraft Pros demonstrating for you just how to do it. Sometimes folks take their flippiest disc and throw it in their normal motion, hoping the disc flips up and then fades on its own. On this shot, I have to start my disc out as an Anheuser. I have to bend it. I want it to bend and bend to the left of the tree, then hyzer back around. The way you make an S-curve on a shot is you start out with an Anheuser and finish on a hyzer. Another way to do it is take a disc that isn't all that flippy, your regular driver, and as you throw with your normal motion at the very end, twist your wrist and hope that you twist it just perfect and it turns just perfect. Different types of Discraft plastic beat up faster than others. Starting with the D-line, which beats up the fastest, takes a lot of dings and will cut right really hard once it gets banged up. Then onto the X, which is a slightly more hard, but will still beat up at a medium rate. The ESP and the Z plastics are harder plastics and will take a lot more beating without showing any nicks. They will stay stable for longer, so if you're really trying to create an Anheuser disc, you might want to try out a Deer at X disc. A 350 foot pure righty hyzer tunnel. Now if you look at this hole from the perspective of someone throwing forehand like me, you say, what in the world do you do with this? The answer is that you anheuser it, but you anheuser it a little more because a severe anheuser is called a roller. There's none other than an XL for a turnover disc. Brand new, it's already flippy. So with an XL, if I throw it flat, it'll take a long, smooth turn, finish right. If at most, it's gonna flatten out and land flat, never come back. So it's really nice for tight wood shots, flip up, Anheuser, rollers. I use it for all my Anheuser shots, so XL, any type. ESP, Z, X, they're all good. A disc as it beats up is worth more than the thing is brand new. The hardest thing to keep in your bag is your favorite Anheuser driver. You must protect it. And with mine, I label them flip disc. Now the disc knows what it's supposed to do. And this of course has had a long and lovely life and I never want to lose it. For a beginner, I would recommend a Comet for a Anheuser line. It's very understable. You don't have to put a lot of snap into it to get it on the line that you want it to take. Even though it's not a driver, it's a, it's a great teaching tool. You don't have to throw it real hard, real long. It'll just do what you want it to do. The final way, and really the preferred way for most top players to throw an Anheuser, is to use your body motion to make the disc turn over rather than just twisting your wrist at the end. So rather than throwing straight across your body to create a shot that goes out straight, you actually throw high, follow through low. By doing that, you can release the disc pretty darn flat and the body motion forces the disc to turn over. If you're uh, an AM throwing an Anheuser, let's throw something understable like a Buzz, they're very easy to turn over, or uh, an XL if you want a little extra distance, but uh, Comets are one of the best turnover discs for Anheuser shots. You can put it on just pretty much flat and it'll just slowly turn right for you. For a beginner, I would recommend using a really beat up, possibly used disc to throw Anheusers. A great disc for that is the Wildcat. Once it hits enough trees and beats in and gets enough dings in it, it does all the work for you. You just throw it flat and it's going to turn right over. 
if you're a little more advanced and you want to actually put some Anheuser into your throw, you can actually get into spin and wrist placement. So if you're throwing an Anheuser, it's more of a thumb down motion like this. You look at this hole, you say, boy, it goes out 300 feet, then beds hard that direction. Well, the cheater way is just throw it forehand. It goes down the middle and bends to the hole. Cheater. 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 Cheater.